Hey friends, I'm back with a makeover that's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I am so glad that I did it. I love these dressers with all of the ornate detail. They aren't usually the best quality though. This one is made of mostly laminate, some MDF, and a little bit of real wood. Let's just say that I spent way too much on it, but I couldn't pass it up because of the drawers. So let's dive in. One drawer was a little bit wobbly. The front of that drawer track was worn out, so we tried to just flip it around and screw it back in. The track sat up way too high though, so the drawer couldn't go in all of the way. So I cut a notch out of what was now the bottom front of the track, so it would sit down like the other end had before. That was the ticket. Now it works great again. Then I removed the hardware and cleaned the dresser off with some crud cutter and a damp rag. And man was that a pain to get into all of those details. And then I filled in a couple of spots with some wood filler. I really wanted to put a new base on this dresser, so we flipped it over and unscrewed the old base. And then I stared at it for a while and we tried to figure out how we were going to do it. We could cut the sides off, but they're made of MDF, so we didn't really feel good about attaching a new base to those. We thought of a few different plans, but when it came down to it, I just wasn't up for the challenge this time. So we put the base back together. I thought it would be a pain to put it back together, but we actually put it together pretty quick. Then I sanded the wood filler and the base and some spots on the top of the dresser and then I cleaned everything off again. Then I moved it into the spray room and sprayed two coats of clear shellac on it, waiting at least an hour for it to dry in between coats. Oh my goodness, thank you for doing all of that prep for me. I really did not want to do any of that. Okay, since this dresser is mostly laminate, we didn't really worry about bleed through. But we did need to worry about the paint adhering. This shellac somehow does a really good job of making paint stick to slick surfaces. And yes, even chalk paint needs help adhering to laminate. And we didn't really want to have to scuff sand all of those details. I'm not gonna lie, that's why Taylor prepped the dresser. This time I used bare latex paint in the color Cranberry Cocktail by Benjamin Moore. I absolutely love this color. And I mixed it with some BB Froche paint powder. This stuff basically turns latex paint into chalk paint. I've used it once before and I remember really liking it. So they say to mix the powder with water until it's the consistency of like donut glaze. Then you mix it with the paint. And then I added some more water to thin out the paint so I could spray it. Then I sprayed the paint. I think I may have thinned the paint a little too much, but it was still kind of workable. And honestly, my sprayer was giving me fits. That doesn't really happen very often with this paint sprayer, and usually it just means that I need to replace some things and give it a really good clean. So I did that between coats.
Then I sprayed the second coat. And I sprayed too much. Look at all of those drips everywhere. So I stopped halfway through spraying and brushed out the drips before they could dry. Then I let the paint dry and then I sprayed another much lighter coat all over again. After that coat was dry, I sanded the paint a little bit. Between brushing the paint and the extra gritty texture, it needed a good sanding. By this time, I was starting to run out of paint, but I needed to paint over everything that I sanded. I put the small container on the sprayer so then I could spray a smaller amount of paint without it running out when it couldn't reach what was left in the bottom of the bigger container. And then I sprayed two really light coats. Thankfully, this paint dries really quickly. The next day, I put some polyurethane and a little tiny bit of the paint in the sprayer. And I sprayed a coat of polyurethane all over. Then I sanded it ever so lightly to smooth it out. And then I sprayed two more coats of polyurethane all over. When the paint was drying, I worked on the hardware. First, I cleaned them so then I could see if I could get them to look like gold without using any paint. It got really close, but I decided to paint them just to make them look really polished. So I primed them and then I painted them very lightly with this really pretty gold spray paint. A couple of days later, I put the hardware back on and moved it upstairs to take photos. Before I share what it looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps get our videos out to more people and your love and support is so much appreciated. All right, here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. This bold of a color kind of terrifies me. I usually stick to blues, greens, and neutrals. Every once in a while I go outside of that, but I absolutely love this piece. You know, I typically change out the old hardware, but with these really ornate pieces, I like to leave the big chunky hardware. But I'm curious, what would you have done? As far as the BB Froche paint powder, I don't remember it being like this the last time I used it. But I didn't like that the paint was so gritty this time. It was more gritty than chalk paint usually is. Maybe it was something else and it wasn't the BB Froche paint powder. I don't know. I'll have to test it again, but it did adhere really well.
That's it for me today, though. I'll see you next time.